Hey folks, Professor K here. And today we're going to take five-ish minutes to take a look at the pen tools and the anchor point tools. Let's get started. All right, so here we have Adobe Illustrator. And what we're going to look at today are the pen tool and then underneath the pen tool, the add anchor point, delete anchor point, and anchor point tool. So what's the pen tool used for? The pen tool is used for drawing out vector shapes. So a vector shape is basically a shape that's created with lines and curves just like this. So here I'm going to attempt to draw an S-like shape. I'll click here. I'm going to go for a 45 degree angle here. I'm going to try and draw the top half of the top S-curve. Click and then drag out. And see how these little circles with lines on them are emerging from the line? If you remember your math classes, this is actually controlling the curve. So release your mouse when you're ready. And now when I move my mouse again, the curve is going to continue. And you can start using these smart guides here to keep that going. So let's just practice going through here. I like to stop roughly about 25% of the way through the curve and put an anchor point down there. So as you can see, I'm kind of going down. And if I imagine a circle here, the second half would kind of be the first quadrant. So I'm going to go over here, just drag this out. And again, kind of going down here, maybe looking for like roughly the same place to align it to. Here, we're about at 75% away from the circle. And we have an S shape. Perfect. Remember again that when you want to end your pen tool, you're always going to go back up to the selection tool and click it, and that will make you able to get out of the tool. So that's not the best looking S shape, right? When we have a shape that we want to edit points on the curve with, we use the direct selection tool. Now, you might remember this from one of our last videos when we were looking at shapes, and I introduced you to the direct selection tool as a way of modifying those shapes. It also works with lines that you draw out with the pen tool. So let's switch over to our direct selection tool. And let's just start clicking on these and notice how our anchor points come back. And you can drag these anchor points and just kind of really refine that curve. So let's just make those curves look a little bit nicer. If you click on an individual point, notice how it's blue and highlighted. And over here, you can tell this is deselected because it is an empty white square. Also noticing just a little bit of weirdness in this. So I'm just going to angle it down so it's more like a slope. That's looking a little bit better. Of course, it's making all this down here look awful, but that's OK. We can just drag this down and drag this over and roughly get the proportions right. Like see how that's starting to feel really smooth? So that's how you use the direct selection tool to edit each of these anchor points just a little bit so that they look good. Let's go back underneath our pen tool and take a look at some of our other options here. Underneath the pen tool, remember by clicking and holding, you can access this menu. You'll see the add anchor point tool. Let's select that and notice how your cursor has changed. So there's a little plus next to the pen. What the add anchor point tool does is allows you to add a new anchor point anywhere on the path of something you've drawn in Illustrator. So let's add one just as a way to see what's going on. And that way you can see is we've added a new control point for our line. So let's just select this and bounce it all the way out here. That's basically what you can do is you can add a new piece to your line. Now, let's say that we wanted this a little bit more pointy. So we could do that manually by dragging the anchor points handles back up to the line. But another way that you can do this is by using the anchor point tool. The anchor point tool, if you click once, will do that for you automatically. But you can also use the anchor point tool to move these handles individually. So I'm going to demonstrate the individual movement, and then I'm going to demonstrate the movement using the direct selection tool to help you understand the difference. Watch closely these two handles. Notice this moves independently of the other anchor point. Now, if I go back and I use the direct select tool instead of the anchor point tool, when I click on this, watch these two handles. Now they move together. So again, anchor point tool moves individually. Direct select tool will move them together. So those are the main differences between those tools. You'll also see the delete anchor point tool. This is great if you want to delete a point on your line. 
So what do you think would happen if I used this delete anchor point tool on this S shape? Let's take a look at where all our anchor points are. We can see that we have one here, 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 and here, as well as a few more down here. You're always going to be looking for these little white squares to determine where the anchor point is. So if we were to delete, say, this anchor point here, this one right at the top, what do you think would happen? I'll give you a second to hypothesize about that while I switch over to the delete anchor point tool. And now we're going to give it a try and see what happens. Let's click and look at that. Because the anchor point is no longer up there, now there's only this anchor and this anchor to look at, which means the line just goes choop, straight over. Let's try it one more time. What do you think happens if we delete this anchor point, but leave this one and this one here? Let's give it a try. Flat. And that's because those anchor points are no longer there. If you wanted to add them back in, it's as easy as using the add anchor point tool and then your direct select tool to go back in and to get this all looking good again. All right, let's create a shape with the pen tool. So over here, going to the pen tool, I'm going to create just a preform kind of blobby shape. I'm just going to do this using clicking and dragging. And to complete this shape, what I'm going to do is match it up to the last anchor point. And you can see even when I hover over here, it's trying to do that. And notice the little circle next to the cursor. This means that it's completing the shape. So you're in the right place if you're doing that. You can only do this on the first anchor point of the line you drew. So keep that in mind. To complete the shape, you can click and complete it, or you can click and drag like I'm doing now and add an anchor control handle there. So with that, that's what you can do with the pen tool and what you can do with the anchor point tools to help you create more complex shapes in Illustrator. We'll be looking at ways to do more complex illustrations later on in this class, but start learning the pen tool now and start trying to make some shapes and getting used to it. It'll really help you down the line. I'll see you in a few.